Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Mardek Chapter 2. Welcome back, recruits. I am glad to see most of you made it back alive, but what happened to Steel? Um, he... Uh, I... Steel regretfully fell in battle, sir. He was reckless, which was typical of him, and he rushed arrogantly into battle with the bandits and fell quickly, because he wasn't quite as strong as he believed himself to be. That sounds very believable. It is terrible loss, but this is... But these things happen. We must always be ready to face the realization of casualties in this field of work. But this death was not in vain, no? You defeated the bandits, correct? We did, though. We let the bandit chief escape after we defeated him with a warning to never do such a thing again. Lest we be less merciful. Ah, this one. That is the kind of thinking that royal guys should have. Should have. I am pleased that you did as you did. <laughs> I am also pleased to announce that you all passed the test and now honorary members of the royal guard. Bravo! Huzzah! I will do my duty as guard with honor, sir. So our behavior during the test isn't assessed on some special summary screen or anything. You are not full guard yet, so you have passed the test, but there is still a ceremony before you officially gain your no ranks. The ceremony is carried out personally by the king and will begin shortly. Oh, the king! We'll finally get to meet him. How exciting! Well, I can't wait. And you don't have to but the ceremony will begin in a few moments. Let us all report to the throne room now. Yeah! Throne room! Who are you people? And what do you, and what do you want with me? Say as the new recruits, oh, just got back from the mission, my leech. You are meant to do the promotion somewhere now? Mm, I am? Oh, right, right. Mm. Let's see if I can remember how it goes. Loyal servants of Gosnell, protectors of peace, saviors of cats, sprinklers of flowers that look a bit thirsty, breathers of air, eaters of... <clears throat> what? Oh, right. Get on with it. Right, right. I can't actually remember the proper speech, but it's not important anyway. I don't want to thank you all by recruiting some memorized, reciting some memorized piece of ancient tradition at you. Oh no, that'd be a tad meaningless in my opinion. Instead, I'd rather thank you all personally for your tremendous work today. Well done, all of you. I am very pleased to promote you all to the status of Royal Guards of Glasnor, protectors of peace, and I hope you you all wear the title well and have been innocent from the malevolent, malevolent, malevolent. Uh, with a heart. Oh, damn it! <laughs> now that you all roll gods, you will receive missions on a regular basis whenever we hear tale of evil in lands near or far. So always be on your guard and in peak physical condition, ready for combat at any time. Until your first mission is announced, you're all free to wander to the castle and do as you please. Within reason, of course. You'll be informed when duty calls and your skills are needed. Now, new guards, you are dismissed! Wow, it's sort of hard to believe we're, we're now royal guards, eh, Mordek? Just one, more, just one more step closer to becoming mighty heroes like Social Fox was. Social Fox, that's a weird name. It's so exciting. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that I'll be defending the people of Gosnor. No, of Belfan, from the vile blight of evil. Isn't it a great feeling to know that you're making a difference in the world and making people you don't know and will probably never meet incredibly happy? Yes, that's why Madig and I want to be like Social Fox. He lived for that sort of thing. So noble. But now he's gone. Just like Steel. That's still bothering? That's still bothering you? You can't honestly say you miss him, can you? Are you going to say that you loved him deep down or something like that? Even though he treated you like filth and, or an object all the time and had no respect or concern for anyone all at all besides himself? No, it's not, it's not that. The guy was an egotistical brute. An egotistical brute.
that's for sure, but I killed him. I killed a man. It's it's just bothersome, that's all. I mean, it's one thing to kill those faceless, nameless bandits who I didn't know. They were just the same as monsters or targets, I suppose. But still, I knew him. It's just weird to know that everything that he was, and several as it was, is just, just gone now. Thanks to me, I killed him. Robbed him of everything he had. I suppose I just never really thought about the effects of killing someone too much until this. It affects everyone they knew. I mean, what if those bandits had families, wives, and little children that they'd never be able to return home to because they died by our hands? I'm, ha I'm having trouble dealing with that. I hate to say this, but you should just not think about it. We're royal guards now, and we'll be doing a lot of killing in the name of justice in our line of duty. If you think too much about it, You'll be a hindrance to our ranks, and you'll break down in the, on the battlefield and be no use to anyone. Justice? Is this justice, though? What's justice? Just an opinion, really. I mean, those bandits, they could have been doing what they thought was right. What was just, in their eyes. It's just their opinions conflicted with ours, so there's bloodshed. Is it ever necessary? See? That's why I think Steel, la Steel lacks mercy was unforgivable. We defeated that bandit chief and we could have left it at that. We could have taught him a lesson without killing him. And he could have changed and caused others to change too. But still wouldn't have had that. He just wanted to kill things. Even so, is it right to force our own views on everyone? Why did that bandit need to be stopped? Because we wanted him to be. Uh, because he, we wanted him to be? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty obvious when f things are wrong or right sometimes. You can argue that good and evil are just two different sides of the same generic gold piece. Which is true in a way, but there's such a thing as def definite evil that I think is obvious. If someone kills a man for greed or to further his own goals, then that's evil. If he steals without earning something fairly, that too is evil. If he uses people and does and does to people what he wouldn't have wanted to done to himself, then that's evil. Would you kill yourself, Donovan? Because we were June doing just that to those bandits. <laughs> yes, there's that argument too. But I think we should stop thinking so deeply about all this. We're soldiers now, members of the Royal Guards. Go guards, man. You all know that we do what we do helps more people than it hurts, correct? Killing a bandit might inconvenience and bring grief to his family if he had one, but not killing him would cause him to bring grief to many families, and he should have known that no good would come of an evil way of life before he followed the path of banditry. I suppose you're right. I'm going to go and lie down and think for, and think for a bit. I'll probably be okay tomorrow. Thanks for your words, though. Good night. Night, Elmo. Maybe you should go and talk to her for a bit, Charla. I think the company would do her well. Mm, okay. I suppose we should, we should all retreat to our bed too, man. We need to be constantly prepared for battle and well rested. You never know a mission could come up tomorrow and we could all be called off to some foreign land to do battle with evil. Most foul. So good night, you two. Well, night, Donovan. I'm going to bed too, Mardik, so, um, good night. Yeah, everybody's just, and then there's one. Can I go up to Emma? Maybe? No? It's locked. Damn! Alright, uh. Oh, sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Alright folks, I'm gonna cut it off here, so um thanks for watching, leave a comment, and tune in to the next one. Thanks for watching folks.